Hello, my name is Jeremy Dixon. I'm a lecturer of social work at the University of Bath. Theories of social control have been used to understand how the actions of individuals are regulated across a wide range of social settings. Mental health services can be seen to be a site of social control. This control may take the form of societal expectations placed on both service users and providers. However, mental health services are different from other services in that they often use coercive treatments, for example, coercive medical treatment or supervision. Mentally disordered offenders are a group of people who experience particularly high levels of control and supervision. My research paper focuses on the views of this group. In the paper, I draw on the interviews from 19 mentally disordered offenders. All the offenders that I spoke to were subject to a restriction order under Section 41 of the Mental Health Act. This restriction order is put in place where a judge believes somebody to be a risk of harm to the public. Whilst a lot of papers have looked at the perspective of mental disordered offenders about supervision, my paper offers a new perspective by looking at the views of offenders about what the purpose of that supervision is. Four main themes arose from this research. For a first group of participants, the restriction order was seen to act as a mechanism for highlighting those suffering from a mental illness. These participants gained a degree of security through knowing that they had to receive support from mental health services. For a second group of participants, the restriction order was viewed as a form of disciplinary control. For these participants, the restriction order was seen as something which instilled new norms of behaviour through punishments or rewards. There was some overlap between this group and the previous group, with some participants viewing the restriction order as having a dual function. A third group of service users in my research saw the restriction order as a form of labelling. These participants do not believe that they suffer from a mental illness. However, they felt unable to openly disagree with mental health staff, believing that uh, this would be responded to by punishment. Lastly, a number of research participants were aware that the restriction order not only limited their actions, but also limited the actions of staff. These participants believed that they could use the restriction order in order to shape the kind of care that they received. The findings of this research have a number of implications for the care and management of mentally disordered offenders. Recent research papers have highlighted the tensions between service users and staff, focusing on the negative aspects of control. Whilst it is the case that supervision may be experienced as coercive or oppressive, this isn't universal. Greater attention therefore needs to be paid to the way in which service users conceptualise the restriction order in order to understand the potential benefits from their perspective. Thanks very much for your interest in this paper. I'd welcome any comments that you have.